This week on The Wire, home values largely unchanged, prices reacting well to COVID-19, and report optimistic on market future. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So our top story for this week, home values largely unchanged. So capital city house prices have barely moved in the past three months despite forecasts they would fall by up to 30%. CoreLogic's home value index shows capital city house prices in May were almost identical to where they were in March and April. Data published this week by SQM Research shows that the capital city average for May has been a 0.5% rise in house prices, with continuing small growth in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth and Adelaide. CoreLogic Head of Research Tim Lawless says house price falls may flow from forced sales if loan arrears spike after October, but right now distressed property sales are rare. Uh, AMP Chief Economist Shane Oliver says government and bank assistance packages have contained unemployment and helped household incomes. Repayment holidays and wage subsidies are set to end in late September though and could spark a financial crunch. Oliver warns though there will be some hit to the property market as we go into October. He says not all jobs that have been lost will come back. Now guys, for our next story. Prices reacting well to COVID-19. So without the government subsidies of JobKeeper payments, increased job seeker payments and mortgage holidays from the banks, the housing market may have been experienced price falls by now. And that's uh, coming from Cameron Kusher, Executive Manager of the REA Group. Kusher says welfare payment increases and wage subsidies are not typically features of economic downturns and that is what's making all the difference during COVID-19. Sales are still occurring, albeit at a reduced number, with demand and supply falling proportionately. Sellers are not resorting to distressed sales, which are typically seen during a recession. Since government began lifting COVID-19 restrictions, the property market has responded with a rise in the number of new properties being advertised for sale on realestate.com.au. Kusher says a high unemployment rate note won't necessarily lead to price falls because it hasn't in the past, but unemployment leads to distressed sales after wage subsidies and mortgage holidays expire, and that could be a future hurdle for the housing market. Now for our final story of the week, guys, report optimistic on market future. As Australia emerges from COVID-19 restrictions, there are some reasons to be optimistic about Australian property, says Eliza Owen, Head of Research uh, at CoreLogic. Prior to COVID-19, the economic outlook for the Australian economy was modestly positive, and to date, housing values have only fallen slightly in some locations. The low level of listings signals a tough period for those developing and selling residential real estate, but it also signals a lack of distressed sales flooding the market. According to the uh, uh, Australian Prudential Regulation Authority, banks were already in a strong capital position before the onset of COVID-19, and housing finance conditions were becoming more relaxed for potential buyers. Tough lending measures are now being deferred and low cost debt will encourage spending. And there's no signs yet of distress in the housing market. This is supported by very low level of for sale listings, Owen says. Well guys, they're the top stories for this week. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series. And if you wanna submit a question or there is a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that guys, have a great week. And remember, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks, guys. See you later.